I, I think you have to look at yourself and where you are now. Look at where you are six months ago, a year ago, or three years ago. Now, uh, certainly economically, I'm not doing as well as I was doing last year, but my life is better than I would have expected it to be, which tells me I'm headed in the right direction. I'm planning to have a better year next year, both financially, emotionally, and every other way. That your relationship should get better as time goes along, not worse. And, you know, most relationships are a little rocky in the beginning, and that's because it takes a while to get to know somebody. A lot of people give up way too soon on what probably could have been a good relationship. Uh, to me, if you're, if, you're, if you're feeling that you're doing better than you were doing before, and you can't measure that by things in the external world, the economy in my lifetime has collapsed a number of times. I remember that was a, the big collapse of the stock market in 1969, and everybody thought it was the end of everything. Gasoline was we had, was rationed. OPEC was, was squeezing us, and all these things were going on. And uh, you know, you know, they thought there would never be enough gasoline, and now there's a glut of it on the market. You know, and you know, here we are. When when I was a kid, gasoline was was 15 cents a gallon. And then it went up to four bucks. And now here where I live, it's a dollar a gallon. Things externally are gonna change, but, and we can't jump to the conclusion that it tells us the future. And, you know, Warren Buffett, who's probably one of the smartest guys about investing, is worth a hundred billion dollars. That's an enormous amount of money. So much he has no idea what to do with it, but he's still making more. He said the reason people screw up in the stock market and lose money is because when they look at evidence, they're looking at evidence that proves that they're right, rather than looking at what the evidence is telling them. And this is true in people's lives. If, you're, if you look at what evidence is telling you, if, if things are going south, right, in the outside world, and you're going with it, you're doing something wrong. And if your business diminishes because of the economic climate, you need to adapt and alter your business and find other avenues to build your business back up so that when the economy comes back, it's twice as strong as it was before it went south. We all have to look at difficulty as disguised opportunity. In our personal life, that's particularly true. If you feel like you're more unhappy than you were six months ago, then you're not doing the right thing. Uh, Tony, Tony Robbins and I once had an odd conversation. I was wanted to interview him for my newsletter and he was gonna interview me for his. And I asked him what he thought personal power was because it was the title of his book. And uh, he rattled on for quite a while and uh, said a lot of really things that I didn't know. He talked about Wall Street, he talked about uh, ad agencies, uh, you know, I had, a, had really examined a lot of things about marketing that I didn't know about. And when he asked me what I thought personal power was, I said, personal power is knowing what you do well and what you don't do well, so you know what to do next. And to me, the answer to this question is examining that. What's going well in my life? What's not going well? So that I know what I need to learn next. Because if you keep, if you keep, if you're better off than you were yesterday, just a little bit, and better off than you were a week, personally, maybe not financially, but personally, because sometimes people have to go through difficult financial times to get to a good life. They have to change their profession. They have to change what they do. They have to change their location. I know I've done it a number of times. You know, I've picked up stakes and moved to a whole other place so that I could have a better life. And in the beginning, it was difficult. It was harder. It required, you know, I took great financial loss sometimes, but I ended up because I was headed in the right direction. I had a purpose. I knew where I was going. And if you don't know where you're going, you only know that you're not where you were, then you're trying to drive by looking in the rearview mirror, and that ain't a good idea.